Hey, Michael, I, I've been saving you because I want to get the politics of this and what Donald Trump might do um, to raise money to, to pay, maybe not in this bond, it's so, so steep, but the other legal bills that he's facing that Garrett outlined a moment ago. Um, he's installed his handpicked people at the RNC, including his daughter-in-law, Lara Trump. She had said that the RNC would be willing to pay some of these legal bills. She's walked some of that back. How, how might the RNC get involved after all? They'll be involved in any number of ways that the lawyers can figure out. Um, you know, the the fact that they've got Watley and La Civita in the in place covers sort of the the political piece and and sort of the the management side of that equation. Then it's just a matter of given the the council that they recently installed, who is all all MAGA all the time. Uh, there's going to be a, at least a consistency in the effort overseen and really sort of physically represented by Laura Trump. Um, Donald Trump will get his money if he if he wants it siphoned off to some degree, uh, certainly to pay some of the smaller bills uh, that are out there. And there we're talking, you know, tens of millions of dollars uh, in legal fees. Um, because this, we're, we, we've just been talking about what he has to pay uh, as a result of judgments. Um, we haven't talked about what the legal fees that are owed to, you know, to stave off those judgments and to further defend those judgments. So that, in many respects, is where you'll see some of the RNC dollars go. Uh, and that's why they've been so defensive about this idea of not paying Donald Trump's legal fees. But trust me, when Donald Trump gives uh, Chris LaCivita uh, a bill, a legal bill, the RNC will pay it. Uh, and so that's going to require, uh, you know, a, a level of due diligence by those who look at the thir every 30-day uh, FEC filings of the Republican National Committee to see exactly where those dollars are going um, and who they're going to and how they're being categorized. That's important because <laughs> I can have an event at a hotel and just list the hotel in a dollar amount. You then have to peel back the onion and see exactly what those costs were, and et cetera. So it's yeah, there are a lot of ways in which they can hide those those expenses. So note to self, when this does come out, call Michael Steele and have him go through it line by line with you because he's going to tell you what, what all of these... Uh, I know how they hide these it, ...these hotel yes. receipts, et cetera, actually mean. Um, let me ask you about what this, this is going to mean politically. Donald Trump has obviously used these court cases, um, tried to use them to his political advantage. He's tried to use them as, as you know, impromptu or unofficial rallies, talking to reporters outside of the courthouse. Um, he's not due in court for a little while. There's a bit of a lull in time, as Garrett was saying. And there's not any indication, at least right now, that he's got a full campaign schedule. These rallies are really expensive. And Garrett mentioned that the small donors are potentially going to be a problem for Donald Trump. So how does he conduct the business of campaigning if he doesn't have a lot of cash and he's, again, not even going to court all that much? Well, I think I think you see a little bit of that already with the uh, Truth Social platform. When you're looking at this calendar here, where in here do, does Donald Trump raise money? How does he do it? Where within uh, these events does Donald Trump have events himself? Um, you know, the the reality is, yeah, I can I can go out and and keep beating that drum about you know the prosecutor and the judges, right? Um, and that will generate a certain level of of cash. I can tell you the number of you know times a day I get a a, a text from Donald Trump's campaign, you know, begging for cash. Uh, the small dollar donor uh, will will be an initial play, and he will generate uh, some real money from that. I, I don't think people should, you know, sort of slough that off and think that there's no cash available to him or his campaign in that in that space. You have small dollar donors out there actually hosting GoFundMe accounts for Donald Trump's uh, legal <laughs> bill, bills, for example. So there are going to be a number of ways in which he can leverage uh, that. Uh, but at the end of the day, it really does boil down to can you put up the bond and how how is that money backed uh, when you do? And that is the problem because he has to go to a bank. He's got to go to a surety to, to, to get that kind of cash. You're not raising, you know, $100 million, let alone $400 million from a small dollar donor. 